A mere 250 years ago, you could see thousands of them in vast colonies. Now, they're all gone. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 extinct animals. And it's reckoned that the elephant bird weighed around half a ton. Extraordinary in size and strength, sparing neither man nor wild beast. Some of the biggest and most extraordinary birds to have ever walked the earth. For this list, we're going over the most interesting animals that have either died out entirely or that have so few members they're functionally extinct. We won't be including dinosaurs or primitive species of humans like the Flores Man. If there's an extinct animal that went extinct from our list, please tell us about it in the comments. Number 20. The Dire Wolf There are no dire wolves south of the wall. Now there are five. No, not dire wolves, dire wolf. Two words, not one. When it's one word, it's a fictional fantasy race that can grow to a massive size. But we're talking about the other, which, although bigger than gray wolves or another extinct subspecies, the Newfoundland wolf, wasn't quite that huge. Dire wolves inhabited China and North America as recently as 9,500 years ago. Of particular note is their bite force, which was the strongest of any known Canis species. Because of this, it's believed that they specialized in hunting large prey, such as the once abundant megafauna that lived in North America. However, with the death of their prey, it's theorized that the dire wolf followed its food sources into extinction. Was the dire wolf unable to satisfy its savage hunger, or did some overwhelming force drive it into oblivion? Number 19, the quagga. The quagga breeding project is um, an attempt to use selective breeding to breed animals that are as similar as possible in type to the original quaggas which roamed in the Western Cape. Despite its adorable name, this subspecies of zebra is no more. Native to South Africa, the quagga became victim to the hunting of early Dutch settlers and later Afrikaners to provide meat and skins. Disappearing mostly in the 1850s, the wild quagga became officially extinct a few decades later, though some captured ones could be found in zoos. On August 12, 1883, the very last captive specimen died, writing the final entry into the lifespan of this impressive species. We are reviving an extinct species of quagga, and that is for the benefit of, of future generations. Number 18, the elephant bird. Many of the mounted specimens have been put together with a number of bones from different specimens. And if you get overenthusiastic, maybe it's quite possible that you stick in one or two extra neck bones. Native to Madagascar, these ostrich lookalikes are believed to have come to an end in the 17th or 18th century. While it's not fully known how the birds died out, it's believed that human activity is the number one suspect. Initially widespread across all areas of the island, there's evidence of their homes being demolished, while the birds themselves were hunted, which led to their untimely demise. Fossilized eggs of the species have remained and have become an increasingly priceless commodity across museums to this day. Although there were several factors threatening the bird's survival, it could have been people eating the eggs who dealt the species its final blow. Number 17, the bear dog. Look, charging right at us with huge teeth. It's a bear, it's a dog, it's Amphicyon. Popularly known as a bear dog, Amphicyon had features like both carnivorous mammals. And it was just one of a very diverse group of ancient meat eaters that ruled the Northern Hemisphere for over 30 million years. Although it had a tail and teeth like a wolf or dog, its huge body, which could weigh over half a ton, was more comparable to a bear's. Size matters, and size can dictate a vicious cycle that ends in species extinction. The bigger you are, the more food you need. And of course, they're mammals with a very high metabolic rate. Thought to have originated in North America, bear dogs spread out over Asia, Europe, and Africa too. Although they lived between 16 and 2 million years ago, the rise of other, swifter mammal carnivores is theorized to have forced them into decline. Number 16, the great auk. A flightless water bird, the great auk once roamed the waters of the Northern Atlantic Ocean, ranging from Europe to North America. Generally a little under three feet tall and featuring a hooked beak and webbed feet, great auks were strong swimmers, but auk word on land. A mere 250 years ago, you could see thousands of them in vast colonies. Now, they're all gone. Tragically, the great auk was hunted to extinction by humans, with cultures all over the Atlantic killing it for its meat and especially its down, 
which was in high demand. The last two confirmed great auks were killed on an island near Iceland in 1844. Still, its legacy would live on in other ways, such as its scientific name, Pinguinus impennis, which inspired the naming of penguins, given their resemblance. Conservationists say the story of its extermination should act as a warning. Number 15. The Short-Faced Bear Although we considered discussing another extinct bear species, the Atlas Bear of Africa, we're electing to discuss a less recent extinct bear. Short-faced bears were native to North America and came in two species the lesser short-faced bear and the greater short-faced bear. It's huge, weighing 900 kilos, 3.4 meters tall on two legs. It could reach higher than a basketball hoop. True to their name, both species had shorter snouts than most bears. However, while the lesser species was comparable in size to modern bears, the greater short-faced bear was a massive six feet tall at the shoulder. It could look a tall human in the eye. It was possibly the largest terrestrial mammalian predator to ever live, and some weighed more than a ton. They became extinct around 11,000 years ago, possibly due to global cooling. As the Earth's new rulers, we just might learn something from this vanished and mighty predecessor. Number 14. The Aurochs the aurochs was a type of wild cattle and is the ancestor of the domestic cattle common today. Compared to modern cattle, they had longer legs and larger heads, no doubt to support the weight of their larger horns. Not much smaller than an elephant. Extraordinary in size and strength, sparing neither man nor wild beast. Once found throughout Europe, Asia and Africa, the aurochs gradually died out due to excessive hunting, encroachment by humans, as well as diseases spread from regular cattle. Although they went extinct in 1627, their genes survive in domesticated cattle, and a number of attempts have been made to breed the aurochs, or something like it, back into existence. My brother and I now had to do was to unite in a single animal all those characteristics of the wild aurochs that are now found spread between different breeds of tame cattle. Number 13. The Baiji Commonly referred to as the Chinese river dolphin, the majestic creature could only be found in the Yangtze River in the Asian country where it got its name. Affectionately nicknamed the goddess of the Yangtze, the Baiji became victim to the growing advances and industrialization of modern China that led to massive water pollution. By the end of the 20th century, there were possibly only 13 wild dolphins left in the Yangtze. Repeated efforts were made to conserve the species, but an expedition in 2006 failed to discover any remaining Baiji in the river. The last living Baiji, known as Chi Chi, died in 2002. For the international conservation community, it really needs to act as a wake-up call that we need to be far more efficient and far more quick to react to conservation crises in the future. Number 12. The Caspian Tiger while we consider discussing the also extinct subspecies of tiger from Bali and Java, we're focusing on the Caspian tiger. As its name implies, they were native to areas near the Caspian Sea and beyond, being found as far west as Turkey and as far east as West China. Of the tiger subspecies, the Caspian tiger was most closely related to the Siberian tiger, although its coats tended to be brighter colored. The cause of its extinction was naturally humans hunting it. Although, our killing of their food supply, like wild boar, didn't make it any easier for them to survive. The Caspian tiger was declared extinct in 2003. Number 11. The Ground Sloth This animal is called Megatherium. Marvelous name, but all it means is big animal. What was once a unique beast that thrived during the Ice Age periods is now known for associating with a dim-witted animated film character. <laughs> <laughs> Upon their extinction over 10,000 years ago, it's believed to be no coincidence that the deaths of the ground sloth are linked to humanity's entry into the North American regions. Though climate change was also a factor. The sloth's best defense was to inflict damage with its long, sharp claws. With large and dangerous looking claws, speculation remains to this day about whether this variation of sloth only used them to collect bark from trees. Though it's most likely that these mammals were herbivores. Although slow moving, its massive size was protection against smaller predators like the saber toothed cat. Number 10. The Western Black Rhino. Several subspecies of black rhinos have gone extinct in recent history, and the most recent is the western black rhinoceros. 
Once found in Nigeria, Cameroon, Chad, and the Central African Republic, the western black rhinos were hunted to extinction, both in defense of human population centers and for sport and folk medicine remedies. Humans are the adult rhino's only predator in the wild. Black rhinos are killed in Africa for their valuable horns, which are sold as decorations, medicinal cures, and aphrodisiacs. Despite conservation efforts, the western black rhino was declared extinct in 2011, with the final known specimen dying in 2006. Tragically, the western black was part of an overall decline of black rhinos in general, with a staggering 96% of all subspecies being killed between 1970 and 1992, a mere 22 years later. It's such an iconic species. If we can't save the rhino, how on earth are we going to save species that are of much less public interest? Number 9. The Moa The Moa. Some of the biggest and most extraordinary birds to have ever walked the earth. New Zealand is fairly isolated from the rest of the world, and this isolation led to the development of some truly strange birds. Moa were once nine different species of wingless, flightless birds that inhabited the New Zealand archipelago. The smallest were still fairly large birds, around the size of a turkey. The biggest species, though, could reach up to 12 feet tall. Naturally, when humans first discovered the islands, the moa were a readily available and large food source. Sadly, every species was hunted to extinction within 100 years of humanity's arrival in New Zealand, although unconfirmed sightings persisted for several centuries afterwards. Number 8. The Eurasian Cave Lion, also known as the European Cave Lion. Slowly, slowly, slowly! <laughs> People tend to associate the king of the jungle as a largely African species, but this extinct Eurasian subspecies may prove otherwise. Speculated to have become extinct around 10,000 years ago, these beasts were huge, on average over 7 feet long without the tail, and could weigh 700 pounds. Massive in size, and a massive tongue twister to say, as their official name is the Panthera Leo Spelia, their fates were sealed when settlers made their way into their homes. And the rest, as they say, is history. In total darkness, the lion must use its senses of smell and hearing to land a killer blow. Number 7. The Irish Elk It has antlers so vast and elaborate, they stretch 12 feet from tip to tip. They are the crowning glory of the magnificent Irish elk. Despite its name, this species of deer was not exclusive to Ireland, making its way across Eurasia and northern Africa for thousands of years. The Irish elk is known for being the largest species of deer ever found, as they could have stood at 12 feet with antler height included. Unable to survive subarctic conditions, which caused a lack of good food, it's been suggested that the last of these deer may have died out about 11,000 years ago in Ireland hence its given name. Others may have survived the Ice Age through Europe, but were probably hunted down. The case of the Irish elk reveals that faced with a changing world, too highly evolved a design can actually prove an animal's undoing. Number 6. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus is an extinct species of large ape. Estimating its exact appearance and size has proven difficult because only their jaws and teeth have been discovered. From these remains, it's believed they were herbivores and weighed somewhere between 400 pounds and over half a ton. But an even closer look at these teeth has revealed much more than just how big this animal was. For one thing, scientists have been able to use them to figure out who its closest living relatives are. Originally thought to have been an ancestor of humans, Gigantopithecus is now thought to be more closely related to orangutans. Native to what is now southern China, Gigantopithecus went extinct around 300,000 years ago, with changing climate the likely culprit. Still, there are those who believe Gigantopithecus may be the origin behind legends like the Yeti or Bigfoot, so who knows if they're all gone or not. Number 5. Thylacine There was one Tasmanian animal that's no longer found on the mainland. A ferocious flesh-eater that terrorized all the other beasts. The Thylacoleo, or Australian lion, was considered, but we're discussing another marsupial predator. Best known as the Tasmanian tiger, the thylacine is a purely nocturnal creature. Evidence suggests that these native Australians were very retiring in nature and became extinct in the mainland around 2,000 years ago, yet survived until the 1930s in Tasmania. 
There are even some people who think the thylacines still exist today. Amazingly, some thylacines had hung on until the motion picture age. This film shows one pathetically pacing around its cage in the Hobart Zoo. General sightings were reported across Western Australia and Tasmania until 1980, leading to a vested interest in the species once again. In 1983, Ted Turner offered a $100,000 reward for proof that these carnivorous marsupials are still alive. While the thylacine is still considered extinct, unconfirmed sightings continue to be reported in the 21st century, and the reward is still out there. So keep looking, everyone. And I'm amazed that no one as, as penguin has come up with one. Mm -hmm. But um, it'll happen. Mm. I Wait. guarantee it'll happen. Number four, the dodo. Protect the dodo way of life. Survival separate the dodo from the bee. <laughs> Most of us have seen the animated movie Ice Age. You can recall a joke that implied this famous bird died out during that time period, but this is actually untrue. The dodo seemed so bizarre and comical that by the 18th century, some scientists doubted it had ever existed at all. Due to their hunting by Dutch sailors that had arrived on the island of Mauritius, the flightless bird became extinct. However, their official extinction was only confirmed in the 19th century, despite their increasing rarity in the 17th century. The dodos are constantly on the lookout for fallen fruit, pouncing on it before competitors arrive. Slow and unafraid of humans, the dodo was only a little over 3 feet tall and between 25 and 45 pounds, but achieved contemporary fame by appearing in pop culture, like Disney's Alice in Wonderland. And I never, never, ever do a thing about the weather, for the weather never, ever does a thing for me. Number 3. The Saber-Toothed Cat Saber-Tooth's power and weaponry were overwhelming, but suddenly, mysteriously, it became extinct. Misleadingly known as a saber-toothed tiger, these predators were vastly known far and wide for their curved and massive canine teeth. Once the teeth are engaged, those vessels can be sawed by those serrated edges on front or back. Despite officially having the cat in their name, they're not closely related to the modern animals and were in fact more agile, choosing to pounce from trees and then attacking with their almost foot-long teeth. With the Smilodon being the most well-known, these mammals' vicious nature proved to be their downfall at the end of the last ice age, as most of their chosen prey had either died out or had, ironically, been hunted by the cats themselves. Thus, the saber-toothed cat became extinct through its own means of hunting. The art of killing always strives toward perfection, and given the chance, a saber-toothed cat might well evolve again. Number 2. The Megalodon Sharks have long fascinated people. And a giant shark? Well, that's even more interesting for some. And more terrifying for others. Swimming the deep as recently as 3.6 million years ago, Megalodon shares a common ancestor with the great white shark, and they're generally reconstructed to appear similar to them. Still, while they may look like a great white, their size is even greater with some estimates putting them at up to 52 feet long. Megalodon was probably the apex predator of all time. People think T-Rex or something like that. It's dwarfed by Megalodon. Megalodon is huge, maybe even 70 feet long. Their extinction is believed to have been caused primarily by a cooling trend from one of the planet's ice ages, which would have lowered sea levels and led to a loss of prey large enough to sustain them. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Dimetrodon. This creature with a black sail predates the dinosaurs and is actually closer to mammals. The large spiny sails on their backs may have been used for sexual display and to absorb heat from the sun. Trilobites. These marine arthropods swam and crawled the oceans for 300 million years before dying out. They were very successful animals. You know, we've been on the earth for just a couple of million years, so by comparison, the trilobites have been here a long time. Stellar's sea cow, an aquatic herbivorous mammal whose slowness allowed it to be easily hunted. They grew to 25 feet in length and weighed 8,000 pounds. The passenger pigeon, also known as the wild pigeon. Its meat was a cheap source of food, and its habitat was destroyed by deforestation. When a flock of passenger pigeons approached a town, many villagers thought the apocalypse was upon them. The golden toad, native to a single forest in Costa Rica, no golden toad has been seen since 1989. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the woolly mammoth. It was the early mammoths that grew truly huge, some standing over four meters tall at the shoulder and weighing twice as much as an African bull elephant. Truly one of the animal giants, it remains the greatest shame that this mammoth species is no longer with us. Surviving through the Ice Age thanks to its obvious woolly exterior, the mammoths coexisted with human life for years in the New World, along with the similarly elephantine mastodon. Their herds clearly inspired cave art. We've been transfixed by their majesty for thousands of years. Humanity found many uses for the bones of the prehistoric elephant, such as utilizing them for tools and using them in making homes. However, long-term shifts in climate seem to have affected the mammoth's native lands and safety, leading them to migrate to other pastures. Finally, the creatures made their last stand on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean, surviving until 4,000 years ago and finally concluding their existence. Iconic and majestic, mammoths were once a mystery. Now we understand them better, we still revere them. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.